Welcome back in with the frigid temperatures we've been having and we'll no doubt have mm -hmm. some more of. Many people will be left a mess after they experience broken pipes in their homes. Jessica Bowman with the Lexington Fire Department is here now with us with some tips on how to prevent this from happening to you in the future. Welcome. Hi. And prevention is key, right? That's right. <laughs> how do you stop this from happening in the first right. place? Well, there's a few little things you can do that are easy that can save you a lot of um, hard work down the road. Yeah. Um, and those are to um, allow your faucet to drip. Um, if you know it's going to be a, a particularly cold evening, go ahead and turn your faucets on before you go to bed. Just a trickle will go a long ways. Um, also, you can open the cabinet doors. That will allow warmer air to circulate beneath it and um, hopefully prevent those pipes from freezing. And the other thing you can do is just set your thermostat at a steady temperature. Some people like to raise it during the uh, evenings, lower it during the day when they're gone, but keep that at a steady temperature. And then what happens, you know, Inevitably, some of us are going to forget this. <laughs> when it does so, happen. what happens yeah. when it right. does happen? Exactly. If the worst does happen and your pipes freeze, you can attempt to rethaw them um, using some sort of alternative warming heat. Um, never use a blowtorch. Sometimes people try to do that. Wow. That is a whole different noon show. Um, but never <laughs> use a, a blowtorch. Um, you can use like a heating pad or a space heater um, as long as you don't leave your space heater unattended and you just open the cabinet doors and and direct it in there. Uh, and the one thing you need to make sure you do is open the faucet because mm -hmm. once that water thaws, it needs somewhere to go. Right. Um, uh, Jessica, obviously, uh, you know, if this happens, uh, you, you need a plumber to, to help uh, deal with the issue <clears throat> probably, but there would be circumstances where maybe it's in contact with electricity or there might be uh, some concerns that where you might need the right. fire department. Right? So if the, if the absolute worst happens and your pipes burst, you come home and your pipes burst, you wake up and they're burst, um, the best thing you can do for yourself is to know where your water shutoff is because um, if you can get that turned off right away, you're going to limit property damage. Sometimes people don't know where it is and their water just continues to run uh, and saturate everything in the room or neighboring rooms until someone gets there to help them. So knowing in advance, that's something you can do for yourself to help yourself out. Uh, but if those pipes do burst, you're going to need to call a qualified professional to help you get them repaired. Yeah. And also, you mentioned something about space heaters. There are actually a lot of fire hazards this time of year. What are some things we need to keep in mind through the holidays? Um, when it comes to space heaters, never leave them unattended. When mm -hmm. you go to bed or leave the room, they need to go off. Um, always plug them directly into the walls. Never use an extension cord because that can overload the outlets. Um, and then some people like to run them under a carpet or something to eliminate a trip hazard, but that actually creates a fire hazard. So okay. keep that... Um, cord on top. Mm -hmm. And Great if advice. something uh, does throw a breaker, there's probably a reason that happens. Right, so don't absolutely. just necessarily go try to put it right back on. Absolutely. Got to make some changes. Mm -hmm. Thanks for coming. Appreciate, appreciate having me. Very appreciate much. it. Thank and you. Merry Christmas to you. Thank you.